right. Just back your side. <laughs> there he goes. Hey, uh, coming up in our next hour, as we celebrate Customer Appreciation Month, is our shredder. This one is so cool. It's unlike one anyone I've ever seen. They made this one to look more like just office furniture. It's really cool. Um, it is uh, every bit as effective as the others. Powerful. This is the 12-sheet compact uh, paper shredder that comes with uh, uh, three title software. Comes with all the lubrication sheets to uh, lube up the gears inside. Comes in colors. And I will tell you, especially at this time of year, as many of us are saying, oh, taxes, got to get that done. Uh, what a great way to destroy all the stuff that you don't want other people to see, like receipts and important documents and bank statements and all that stuff. Shred it and then recycle it. Uh, it's a three gallon bin inside um, and you're gonna love it. It's $129.99, it's on price break today. All right, let's move on into our second hour, and we're going to welcome my very good friend, Mr. Joe Harrison. Hey, Joe. Hey, guy. Good morning, hey, buddy. I'm doing well. Good to see you. Happy April. Is it April, April 2nd? April 2nd tonight. Oh, good thing it wasn't yesterday, Joe. I would have had something <laughs> cooked up for you. But anyway, uh, Joe is one of our resident electronics experts and all-around good guys, and I will tell you... Um, you know, in the world of electronics, we get we all get real excited when something new comes around the block. And mm -hmm. this is the first airing of this product. It's, it's called the Eton uh, Blackout Buddy Connector. Uh, if you ever lose power in your life, you know the one thing that happens first is you kind of panic, right? Oh, my gosh, got to light a candle, got to look for a flashlight, blah, blah, blah. Right? Because it's a situation you're not used to. Exactly. When you have uh, the Blackout Buddy, <laughs> you never worry about that again for a variety of reasons. First of all, uh, it is a must have for anybody that's trying to make their home what we call more of a smart home, right? But what I love about it is that you plug this into the wall. It's a motion detected night light. So when you need it, it's there. But when the power goes out, it automatically kicks on. And then how many hours do I have? 30 hours of, of charge. 30 hours of light. Right, so you always have a flashlight that is always Ready charged, to go. Ready to go. And it just, it makes so much sense because there are a lot of times in our life when the power goes out, whether in the summertime, a lot of brownouts happen. We live here in Florida. A lot of hurricanes will wipe out the power. There are a lot of people, my parents live in the Midwest, tornadoes and the storms. So many reasons that power goes out. Yeah. And what happens is <clears throat> power's out, then you try looking for that flashlight. Try to find the flashlight oh, yeah, drawer. Yeah, Does the flashlight have batteries built or is into it? Dead? It is 100% dead half the time. And then you're trying to find your cell phone for the light. It's impossible. This, it comes on when the power goes off. You keep this plugged in. You don't need it until that emergency happens. So right now we've got our plugged, ours plugged in right here. I'm holding the power cable to this device. As soon as I unplug this, Guy, the light's gonna automatically come on up top. So it's almost like your own personal, um, a personal emergency light. So as soon as I pull the plug, the lights on the top will yeah. automatically come on. Now as soon as I plug it back in, you'll see the lights will go back off. I'll do it one more time. Pull the plug, lights come on, put the plug back in, and it turns back off. So that way, guy, when the power goes out, you're not wondering, when am I stepping on? Where's the drawer? Yeah. Where are all my emergency, emergency supplies? This automatically will come on every single time. That's why it was invented, because we all need that yeah. light in those it, emergency it's situations. It's so smart, and anybody that lives in an area where you do have issues with, with blackouts, brownouts, whatever you call them, mm -hmm. uh, or, or issues with storms, be it a snowstorm or a tornado or, or hurricanes or right. things like that, or, uh, hey, let me tell you, my power, power goes out just because the power goes out sometimes, and you're like, what the heck? And it could be they're checking something on the lines or whatever. You've always got power, um, but it's so much more than that. I mean, obviously, light. You know, we try to we try to sort of get things going and, and try to know where we are, right. get oriented or oriented, excuse me, as to where uh, things are, what's happening. So at nighttime, this is your best friend. But Joe, it's got other features too. Because, so many other features. You know, we when we've offered many many power banks here, and all all they right. do is they charge up your electronics. This, in addition to doing everything we've talked about, has Extra features, Joe. <laughs> it has so many great features that are on there. So not only did I take this off the wall, so ha when you have it plugged into the wall, it has a cool little swivel mount, so you can spin this to, so it really fits anywhere within your home. But then when you take it off the wall, my neighbor uses this just to go walk the dog. Because now you have a 30 hour flashlight that's right there for you. So now you've got that power, that charge that's built into it. The other thing it has, down below, it's a motion sensor. So if you're walking through at, the, at night, it picks up. So that way, your pathway is always a illuminated so it has a light that's down below I'll show you that in a second 
If the power goes out and you need to charge those cell phones, we have two charging ports that are right there on the side, 2000 milliamp charge, so you can charge your cell phones, you can charge your tablets if you need to, makes it so convenient to be able to have that for you, and it's all built there. And the whole thing, Eaton is a co great company, it's been around for over 20 years, the whole thing weighs just a few ounces, but you've got those three bright white LED lights that are going to last up to 30, ye or 30 uh, hours, so now, guy, when the power goes out, you can sit this just on the countertop. This will illuminate the entire room now because those three bright LED lights give off so much power and so much light. But the having this already conveniently built in, this is what I love about it because you just keep this plugged in. Whenever you need it, you always have a charge on your flashlight. You always have a nightlight for you too. And I'm gonna show you real quick, if we can dim the lights a little bit, it makes it a little bit easier to see. But down here, guy, this is a motion sensor and an ambient light sensor. And when you cover this up, the light will end, actually end up coming down below. Let me see if I can get it right maxed up right there. There you go. So when it's a low light situation, your house, your house lights are always on. So, so you've now, got sort of your footlights down there you've too. You've got your footlights. Yeah. So now when I come home, I never come home to a dark house. I'm never trying to find that light. It automatically detects that it's a low light situation and then that light will come on. I'm trying to cover up the sensor, there we go. And then that, so now when you're walking in the middle of the night, when you're coming home with your hand full of groceries, you've got trying to find that light situation, this is now your light. It illuminates the entire house. And on top of that, it's also a smart light. So it can also tie into your Alexa. You can tie it into your Google Home. So if you're in another part of the room, you can say, Alexa, turn on the light, and then she'll turn on the light for you. Makes oh, it so nice. Oh, see? So, so it even has that uh, built into it as well. So built-in motion sender, uh, built-in, our sensor, built-in uh, 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 um, notifications to your phone or your tablet or whatever you right. need to do, um, which is great stuff too. So it truly is part of the smart home. Listen, when, when this goes uh, comes off of its event price, it's going to go up to the $69.99. Today it is $39.99. It's half the price. This is a multi-tool. You have to think about this. So whether you're just laying in bed, can't sleep on a read, whatever, whether you need a flashlight for 30 hours, I want you to think about if you put 2D batteries in a flashlight and turn it on, would it be on 30 hours later? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you're talking about a handful of hours versus a over a day of having that light. And I hope you don't ever need that. Obviously, you know, you won't need it during the daytime in the 30 hours, but you know, it, to have that amount of time, night after night after night to have a flashlight, right. just in case it's perfect. You should have one of these maybe in the main hall of your house, maybe one in your bedroom. Um, I love that if you see it kick on, you know, in the middle of the night, you know that the power's out, right? And you're not panicked. You right. can take it off the wall and use it as your handheld flashlight. Well, that's the thing about it. It automatically- for camping too, uh, right, Joe? For camping's perfect. It's, it's 30 hours worth of battery life on that flashlight. But then also you can charge your different devices. So now I've got two different devices that are plugged in. I've got my Amazon Fire tablet. I've got my cell phone right here. It has a 2000 milliamp, so I can charge my cell phone more than two times. But a lot of times with chargers, it's not powerful enough to charge your bigger devices like your tablet, this one is designed to handle the bigger devices like the tablet, can handle two cell phones. I've got plugged all both of the devices right there in one because that battery is already built right there internally. And I still, on top of that, have my flashlight in case I get into that dark situation. But the way Eaton designed this, and Eaton's been creating emergency devices now for over two decades, they wanna make this so simple for you. As you see, the light came on because I pushed that one little button right there. But a lot of times when the power goes out, you don't know where the power switch is. You don't know where your flashlight is. You're just looking for that light, trying to find anything, um, anything to illuminate the room. I'm gonna show you right here. I'm gonna pull the cable from the table that we have in front of us. So right now we have our, one of our devices plugged in. It's right here. It's on, it's charging, it's ready to go. But then if you get that power outage situation, is it a tornado, is it a bad storm? Did, was there an accident on the road uh, across the street and then it knocked out power to the neighborhood? As soon as it loses power, as soon as it loses power, it automatically comes on. Did you see the light come on right there? So now, guys, it's perfect. Now plug it back in. It says, it oh, I've got power again. I'm going to charge it. I'm going to be yeah. good for 30 hours. Then boom, lightning went out, uh, light went out, power went out. Whatever it happens to be, it automatically comes on, makes it so simple. And then, guy, when you plug it back in, you're constantly charging it. And this is my neighbor's favorite thing. She walks her dog, and here it uh, gets a little bit dark earlier in the night. So when you take this off, you've got a 30-hour battery 
30 hour charge. She'll go walk her dog. She'll go outside, make sure everything is safe. And then you just pop it back in and now it charges again. You've always got that light always right there on the right. I, I, I only ha we only brought in, it's brand new, I only brought in a thousand of these. Jared, what do I have left? I know we're getting down the wire here. 400, okay, so there's only a little over 400 left if you want to get it. Every home should have one of these things. Oh, absolutely. Mentality. It's just, it's just, it's all that, a little, you know, an ounce of prevention, and just mm -hmm. a little bit uh, yeah, of planning ahead, just in case. Hope you never have to use these things, but again, it's so nice to have the flashlight that always works and never needs to be recharged. It's always charging when it's up there on the wall. All right, if you want it, it's brand new. It is 665066. Did you just come in just for one item for me, Joe? Just for you, Guy Uvan. Joe, you're amazing. Thanks for having me. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> I love Joe. All right, hey, coming up in just a bit, are, are we moving? I want to remind everybody that today's special. Can I do that? All right, so thank you so much for putting that up. Um, hey, listen, if you don't, haven't gotten it yet, um, over 500 people just picked it up in our last airing, and I encourage you to get it, all right? Because it's the lowest price anywhere in the country. We're offering a deal like nobody else has. We're giving you the 911, no fees. Pay for it once, you have it forever. We're giving you the batteries and the backup batteries. We're giving you the little keychain alarm. So if somebody bothers you, you pull the alarm, watch them run. We're gonna give you a, a, not a one-year warranty, not a two, a three-year warranty. We're, we're, we're actually tripling the warranty in addition for all that. And if you use your HSN, brand new HSN credit card, that's only 49. We're gonna take $20 off. You better start ordering it now before it sells out. All right. My buddy, Bill Duggan. Because I want to talk about Bill Duggan. I got yelled at because it's like a one shot of me and I'm talking about Bill. Oh, look, there he is. It's Bill Hi. Duggan. Hi, Billy boy. How are you? <laughs> I'm fantastic. I, let me tell you something. We're, you know, we've been talking about uh, preparation right. and taking care of you and your family. Uh, you know, and I, I keep, I'm, I'm hard pressed to say which is more important. They're all important, okay? Um, and each one has its own job that's gonna help to protect you and your family. Um, I don't know anybody out there that probably doesn't have some sort of an existing alarm for their house, be it a smoke alarm, carbon monoxide. In my opinion, you can't get enough of these things. The problem is, is that when you first build your home, a lot of the codes have changed. And maybe you've, you know, there's other areas of your house that don't even have a smoke detector. It could be a finished basement. It could be a finished attic. It could be maybe, uh, you know, when you, when, you know, you had a den and there wasn't, there wasn't one in there when you, when you added to it. And maybe now it's your kids grown up and they've moved into another part of the house. We normally do this in a two pack today. Mm -hmm. We've upped it to a three pack. That is three 10 year Adam micro smoke alarms. The reason we call them micro, because they're small. They do not take up a lot of space. They're not ugly and obnoxious <laughs> and hard to open. Right. Like the other ones out there in the market. And Bill, we'll never ever have to open these again, will we? No, because Why? that's just it. It comes with a 10 year battery. 10 year battery. Mm -hmm. A lot of us forget that we even have those smoke detectors until we hear the chirping, until we hear that annoying, you know, battery needs to be rebought and repurchased. And the thing is, every home needs to have this. Not every, every home, every floor, every bedroom. It's actually recommended by the federal government for your safety, for the kids' safety and everyone's safety. Thing is, we don't think about this. We hear about the batteries, but you know these only have about a shelf life of 10 years. How long have you had that smoke detector in your bedroom, outside your kitchen? I mean, has it been painted? Is it giving you false positives in terms of it smells something burning, but it's just toast? With the Atom from First Alert, you get less false alarms, which is great. And it's just an easier, smaller footprint. I mean, you can see the size comparison. Look, I mean, much bigger on a wall versus That's what like this is. like a giant pie plate. <laughs> and the thing is, with it being so small, it's discreet to have in any room of your house. The US Fire Administration even recommends that we need smoke detectors on every floor of our home. And that's the basement to the attic to you know, outside and in every bedroom and hallway sleeping area. Because think of this statistic too. Back in the day, on average, it took a family about 17 minutes to get out of a house safely. Now, you have about three minutes. Three minutes to get everyone up and out of the house. And what they've done, they've made it smaller, yet you get better accurate readings in terms of less false positives, but you also have a sweeping tone, not just a flat tone, but a sweeping tone, 85 decibels, so when you hear that, and you hear how it escalates up and down. Yeah. It's all hearing levels are gonna be able to hear it. It's easy to install. We give you all the hardware that you need. And the thing is you can place it on a wall, on a ceiling. It's not a big eyesore. A lot of people think it's a security camera or a speaker. But the fact that I do not have to worry about batteries for 10 years, 
that really starts That's to add up. Deal. Because yeah. look at this. I mean, 10 years, you're supposed to replace them every six months, right? Daylight savings time, that starts to add up. That's up and down a ladder. That's to and from the drugstore. And what first alert is done. And by the way, this is a first alert smoke detector. First alert has put a 10 year battery in there. So you put it up now, you don't have to worry about it till 2029. And the thing is, you're gonna get better readings all the time. They come individually boxed, which is important because you know what? I gave them to my sister. She only wanted or needed two. The third one went off to my mom. But when I knew they were using them, I knew they were safe. I knew they were protected. And I also knew they would hear that 85 decibel sweeping tone to alert them because that's just it. If we don't hear the smoke detector, here's another alarming statistic. Do you know three out of the five fatalities from a fire were blamed on just a faulty smoke detector? If they had a smoke detector, it probably wouldn't have happened. It's such a simple thing to do. Mm -hmm. And, and um, as far as install, it's very, very easy. It takes <laughs> seconds to put the thing up on the wall. You just pop it up. Bill will show you. There's a little, there's a little uh, you mounting get the hardware bracket. that you need. It's mm -hmm. a couple little screws. And then you simply put this in. There's no locking uh, mechanism Boom. that can't be re reopened or closed. You're never going to have to take it down. I mean, well, maybe if you moved and you wanted to take it sure. with you. Remember, there's no hard wiring on this. It's battery operated. Um, the, the silver part that you see, that's that what allows the speaker sound to come through. So two screws. I don't know how long it takes you to screw a hole in a wall. Um, but uh, some of you may take longer, but I don't care. It's still going to be a matter of seconds. And then you pop it on and you click it to the right. It's all you need yep. to do. You will never babysit this thing or deal with this thing again. And I will tell you, I've lived in my house, <clears throat> my present house, I don't know, like 11 or 12 years. I replaced those dang batteries. And I've got three or four smoke detectors mm -hmm. in there. And you got to replace the batteries at least once a year, sometimes every six months. Right. <clears throat> it really depends on the Definitely on the test them the every model. six months. You, ch you test them. But the, but the issue is when they start chirping, and I, I used to think this is because I was getting older, but it's not because it makes everybody insane. Your ears can't tell where the chirping's coming from if you have more right. than one. So you wind up walking around like a total jack <laughs> on a, like a stepladder. You get up to one you think it is, and you're like, you're yeah, waiting. That one. Wait. And you go to another one. It takes, it's ridiculous. And that's just because you have to change the battery and the chirping noise drives you nuts. And by the way, more often than not, it loses its power in the middle of the night. So that chirping is happening when you're not going to get up and deal with that. You never have to, these are basically, basically like lifetime. It's basically, I mean, it's 10 years. Uh -huh. So, you know, if you are, you know, if it, what is it? It's, it's, it's 2019. Right. So yeah, 2029 is the next time you're going to have to deal with that. We did a three pack just because everybody, when we offered one, everybody bought two. <clears throat> and a lot of people wanted three because they're like, you know what? I'm just going to get rid of the ones I have uh, and put these things up. Or maybe you, you've moved and maybe you're in a rental place and you said, you know what? I don't feel that it's adequate here. Could be mm -hmm. your own home. I'll tell you, nobody's gonna be mad at you for buying more than one set of, uh, of smoke detectors in a room because having them everywhere is key. Uh, right. My brother finished his attic, so he has, a, and there was never any smoke detectors up yeah. there. He didn't need them. A lot of people have the man cave or woman's cave or whatever you call it, and, and there's nothing down there because it's not a, a living space. It's not, I don't think it's legally required. And most people do that stuff. I mean, when just they finish their basement. I mean, tell me dryer about fires. It. Do it. You have your dryer out right. in the garage, and you know you run the dryer at night. Sure. And it's the little bit. You Maybe know, in your garage. And that's just it. If you can hear that 85 decibels, remember, first alert's done all the research. They realize one flat tone doesn't wake everybody. Not everyone hears it, so they give you that sweeping 85 decibel siren, which is just great. And you'll hear it right here. And the thing is, you want to wake people up. You see it even has a flashing LED light. You see the, how it has that nice little mesh sensor around it. That's yes, so you can hear it, but that's also so you get the micros. So the little false positives, sometimes if you ever had a smoke detector go off because of moisture in the air, you're not gonna get those yeah. false readings with this because First Alert has thought of everything. I love the fact that it's a smaller footprint, so it's an, not an eyesore. I gotta tell you, my mom has taken smoke detectors off the wall because she wanted to hang a picture there and she didn't want to deal with the smoke detector. Oh, yeah, they're or hideous. She's taken it off the wall because of the battery, but then she never went back to put it back up because it was, you know, an extra purchase and, you know, just up and down and waited till I came over. You want to make sure when they put these up, they're going to be protected and taken care of for 10 years. And think of it this way, too. You talk about the house you live in, 11 years. Do you saw yeah. the original smoke detectors? Oh, yeah, they're hideous. Actually, you know what? The guy... And they probably yellowed about and... Three, about two or three years ago, the guy that uh, monitors my alarm system uh -huh. came in and he's like, Dude, how old is this thing? This is right? just, and this is archaic. If these it's are starting to yellow, yeah, that's a huge sign. Because they're not and only- And, the, and, the, and this, the new ones are smaller, mm -hmm. but 
uh, you gotta pay for those. These things are expensive. Yeah. And it, and you still have to have a backup battery built into those things, even if they're hardwired. And if you look right? online for the Atom from First Alert, guess what? They have other ones out there, but they don't have the 10 year battery. That's why right. we're really excited about this one. Because even if you think about the batteries that you're gonna save by not having to buy these for 10 years, the effectiveness of a smoke alarm goes out after about 10 years, just because it's been sitting up there, it's been exposed and yeah. it's been used. They're up it's, higher where the heat is, and right? they probably started to So you need to replace them. Apart after so a while, right? upgrade, that's why I sent them out to my family, because I wanted them protected. Whether you know it's a house fire or fire season, and I want the kids protected, the animals protected. Remember that statistic, back in the day, Family had about 17 minutes to get out of a house because of the solid woods and the less synthetic fabrics. Now it's about three minutes. And you're half as likely to die in a fire based on not having effective smoke yeah. detectors. It's an easy install, huge upgrade, individually boxed, and they're from First Alert too. And what I love is we're gonna give you three, so you can yep. keep a couple, you can give one to your kids, be like, hey, we'd just be happier if you put another smoke alarm in that hallway. They're not gonna care, you can barely even, you don't barely even oh, notice you totally it. Oh, you don't notice it. Um, you know, one of these days I'm gonna come up with an idea of like a, it's gonna be like a piece of artwork with a built-in smoke detector. I like it. That's picture of you. Do. Picture. A picture of me. <laughs> All right, we're gonna step away, be right back with more, and Bill, stick around. <laughs> places to shop, we wanted to say that your loyalty doesn't go unnoticed. So to celebrate Customer Appreciation Month, we're making the entire month of April all about you. We're giving away $1,000 a day to your favorite charities. So many extras for HSN credit card holders. And one lucky winner will win $25,000. It could be you. From all of us, we'd like to say... After placing an order, I get to fill these packages with something that makes you happy. <laughs> All right, welcome back, everybody. We're continuing on. You know how quickly this whole tax season came right. up. It was crazy, right? I mean, what, we're in the beginning of April. You have about two weeks left in which to file your taxes. Yep. Uh, the reason I bring that up is obviously you have lots of private information that you, you go through when you are doing your taxes. Uh, it could be credit card receipts, uh, you know, financial documents from uh, the stock market, whatever it is that you're involved in, uh, you know, credit card applications, all those things. Bottom line is, uh, at the end of the day, you wanna get rid of that stuff. You don't wanna leave that valuable information laying around. Most of us out there throw it in the garbage. Um, very few of us at home actually have um, a, a wonderful shredder. And I will tell you, I never had one until I worked at HSM when I got my first embassy shredder. Um, I'm on my second one now and I bought a larger one um, because my first one was only, I think, a six or eight sheet and now they go up to like 18 sheets, whatever it is, but this is, the best one for everybody out there because it's the 12 sheet, which is gonna enable you to tread so much stuff. Um, and not only, uh, you know, uh, pieces of paper, but full out envelopes, whatever it is, you need credit cards you can throw in there to get rid of that information, you can shred it. This is a brand new design uh, for us here and I love it. Um, the other one was kind of a, uh, almost like a rectangular shape. This is more of a square shape. This has a nice big bin inside so you don't have to replace uh, and dump out all the, uh, the trash or recyclables so often, but it still will hold up to 12 sheets at a time. It is super quiet. Um, and, and whether you're getting rid of um, a paper, receipts, old, old mail, uh, old uh, you know photographs that you want to get rid of, personal documents, prescription labels, things like that, old tax records, um, whatever it is, you can put it inside there and you can get rid of them. Now I have it available in colors. It comes in black, red, blue, and we're calling that one, what's that one called, Bill? It's kind of like a taupey color. Taupey Jared, what's the white? Off white one colored called? Jared's pulling it up online to see. Brand new. Said. It's brand <laughs> new, yeah. I, I thought it said taupe, but I don't see it on the card, so I'm trying to figure, that's okay. 
Anyway, we'll get we'll give you that information, but you you know what you want. If you go online, you'll be able to see it. But Bill, this is a, a unique, different design. Still on wheels. Exactly. Still has a nice ability to roll it around or under a desk or set it on a countertop, which is nice. Three gallon bin. All our embassy shredders are customer picks because of the performance. They have one job, and that's to shred and protect your identity. It also serves to help get rid of all that clutter that we've been holding on to. Because at the end of the day, one in seven of us fall victims to being a, a identity theft. And the thing is, it's actually been on the rise because you think about the stuff that comes in the mail and the stuff that we have sitting around in boxes, but this is the most alarming. Tax season, 49% of all identity theft happens right now during tax season. That's why the Federal Trade Commission has warned us. We need to shred our documents. I mean, we went to their webpage and they, we pulled this directly from them. There's many steps we can take to reduce the risk of being an identity theft victim. For example, closely guard your social security number, but then shred charge receipts, shred credit applications, and other sensitive documents. And every household's gonna have a different other, and actually every person's gonna have a different other, because you know, it could be someone going through medical procedures or refinance, buying a new car, you know what we all go through is taxes. So what happens is we find those documents, we print them off the computer, we then shred them. It gets rid of the clutter, but it protects our identity. And at this footprint, it fits everywhere, which is great. I love the pull-out drawer, because you see, normally we used to have to take off the lid and we'd have a mess everywhere. It's nice and self-contained, the drawer pulls out, and what am I throwing away? It's unidentifiable. It's a smaller shred, it's called microcut. If you saw a shredder like this from the 70s, it's strip shred, and look at how much finer the shred you're gonna get. And the thing is, we want a harder shred to piece together. Because if it's harder for them to piece together, it's less likely to happen Here, Here's to what the old school gears kind of look like, right? And they would just strip shred. Which, you know, is better than reading a full out thing, but it's not that hard for people to figure that out. Exactly. <laughs> And, and then, then you, you get up to micro cut. Micro cut. Oh, this is cross cut actually. Cross cut. So and this the takes the length and then it cuts it a little bit, but still, they can get a phone number on there, a social security number now. Yeah. Look, and it's like what they crush the cars up with and they turn them into little bits and pieces before they melt them down. Look <laughs> at how that works. And nobody is gonna take the time to put together that 38,000 piece crossword puzzle or whatever it is, a uh, puzzle thing. Nobody's gonna do that. Um, it's a completely rec unrecognizable and it saves a lot of space. In fact, right. it's about, what, a quarter of the space to recycle this versus having to recycle uh, or, or crush paper in a garbage can, which you know right. we should do. You'd be surprised how much of your garbage is just old mail, paper, newspaper, stuff like that. A lot of people recycle it. But you know what? I wouldn't feel too comfortable about putting like a credit card bill in the recycle pile. No. Somebody can read it. They know where I live. They know what I'm spending. What about like prescription labels? Exactly. What do you do with those? Boarding passes, hotel room keys, reward yeah. cards. All of that information has our identity on it. Your kid's identity. Do you know it's about a million more women a year are victims of identity theft? And it's as simple as taking this document and not just throwing it away, but going over to your embassy shredder, seeing what it's supposed to do, perform like it's supposed to. And remember, this goes through 12 pages at a time. I got a stack here with paper clips in it. Let's add a few staples. And I want just to point out, it does not slow down. It does what it's supposed to do. Listen to that. Do you ever get mailing address stuff, even on padded envelopes? It's still gonna be able to go right it does what it's supposed to do. And yes, we've done this, we throw it away, and you know what, it's not gonna happen to me. But can I just point out, how many pages have we pulverized right here, and that one page is taking up more space, and when I put that out of the curb, this is unidentifiable. This one piece, whether it's a dumpster diver, or whether you know it's just a windy night, and your garbage can gets knocked over, and what's in your neighbor's yard? Your social security information, your paycheck stub, I mean your cell phone records, all that stuff, when you don't need it anymore, load it up and shred it. It stands about 14 inches tall, yet you can put it on the countertop like you have over here, yeah. because if it's within reach, you're gonna use it. And remember, you're not shredding with dated technology. A lot of us already have a shredder because we know the importance of protecting our identity, but it's something from the 70s. This strip cut right over here, a little bit of information goes a long way. That's your information. So this is larger, easier to put together. This is cross cut. Can you even see micro cut? It's so fine and so small. You wanna make it harder for them to piece together. So then a lot of us went from strip cut to cross cut, but they even figure that out because it's their full-time job. With micro cut, they don't have time for that. The other thing you have to realize is you're not only getting the, the shredder, we're giving you software. Software to protect your identity virtually on the computer. So it's a win-win because you know, we're, we're getting more paperless statements and all that. So this is a way to back up your hard drive, defend your hard drive and clean up your hard drive. So whether it's digital or whether it's on the printed page, you now can protect yourself. 
And it's, honestly, it's so easy to do. I mean, I, it becomes part of my routine Smart. when I get home. I always tell you that. Get the junk mail. It's like I go get the mail when I get home from work, uh, Don't depending need it. on when I get home. But like today, when I get home, I'll get home around 11 or 12 and the mail will come. The stuff doesn't even go in the house, uh, literally yeah. into like my, my main part of my house. It goes right into the shredder um, because I know what, I know what like credit card offers. Oh. I know what things that aren't bills look like, right? Everybody knows that. You know what from junk mail is. From realtors, yeah. Yeah, and, and hey, listen. I don't, I don't, I have no issue with people sending that stuff. I guess I know how people have to make a living. That's how they do it. But I don't want to go through all of it. And if I just pile it up on a table, then it makes me stressed because I think they're, I always look right? at it like, oh, that's got to be a bill or somebody's chasing me for something, <laughs> right? Get rid of it. It's going to de-stress your life. Um, if you want to leave the door open <laughs> like Bill and look, you can try to do that. <laughs> but remember, it's got the little safety on it. So right. uh, it's all built in. You can't access the gears from the outside of the machine, so it's safe for little hands and fingers. Keep your kids, obviously, away from it anyway. <clears throat> but I will tell you, uh, it, you get so much bang for the buck. This is $30 off, um, it is free shipping. And by the way, this is not a cheap one to ship because it's heavy. Those gears are not lightweight. They're heavy right. duty uh, stainless gears inside there. If you would like to save another $20 off this particular purchase and get it for $119, wow. which is unheard of, and this is a brand new model, um, you can by getting a new credit card with HSN. Um, and all you do is apply. You'll know pretty much instantly, um, uh, you know, whether or not you qualify for it. Um, and most of you will. So just grab it. Gives you a great discount on all your future purchases. And it gives you some things like extra flex, which are awesome. Um, love this machine. A, it's quiet. It's powerful. Um, it's from a company that produces most of the shredders mm -hmm. that are out there, whether it's for for a home or for business. <clears throat> so you know you're getting a great quality name and it, it, you know, it's very little that can go wrong with this machine. Um, you know, try not to stick coins it in it. It comes with a like warranty. That. I mean, there's a reason why all yeah. our embassies become customer picks. This is that perfect smaller size because a lot of us, our shredders start to look like this. They become a stockpile because it can't keep up with the demand of stuff we find in a box, stuff that comes in the mail. So then shredding becomes a chore. When it's within reach, when it's a smaller footprint, you just shred as you find it. I don't need this anymore. It's dated, I've scanned it in. Or you know what, I sent my taxes off, so all that extra stuff, I can get rid of it. There's a reason why 49% of all identity theft happens right now. Stuff is coming in the mail, we're sending stuff out, we're printing stuff off the computer, we're also, you know, digging stuff out that we hadn't seen in a few years because we're working on the taxes. And then when we can get rid of the clutter, get rid of that mess, we get file space back, and also when we dispose of it, look what we're disposing of. You can't tell me which one's the tax document, which one was the medical record. It makes it harder. With this smaller footprint, it's great for even seniors who you know maybe live in an assisted living or a smaller space. They can take advantage of this. College kids, I actually was a victim of identity theft in college. My sophomore year, I did not qualify for financial aid because someone had made investments in my name. And that was just, I mean, heartbreaking. And most of us don't even realize we're victim of identity theft until it's already happened to us. Oh. So if you're sending the kid off to college and they want to be able to shred some stuff, whether it's schoolwork, whether it's those credit card offers, do it. Set them up for success, set you up for success, and be prepared. Because realize, when we launched Embassy, it used to be one in 10 of us were victims of identity right. theft. It's now one in seven. It's actually yeah, on the rise. And that's not gonna go the other way because people, they just get smarter and smarter. Right. But you can take some uh, steps, uh, some positive steps into protecting you and a yep. family. You'll never have to buy confetti ever again. <laughs> Not uh, at all. You, know, you could sell confetti. You could be a confetti <laughs> salesman. Perfect. <laughs> Anyway, if you'd like it, just pick a color out. And by the way, the lubricant sheets come with it and safety software right. comes with it too as a nice bonus. Uh, all right, coming up on the other side is our best value of the day. Thank you, Billy Boy. You're welcome. Stick around. Me and Lori coming next. thing I 
I love most about shopping at HSN? Do I have to pick just one? I'd have to say FlexPay. Mm -hmm. It allows me to get the things I want now and make monthly payments without any interest or fees. I got a new mattress for the guest bedroom, a fabulous cookware set for my sister's wedding, and a little something just for me. FlexPay gives me the flexibility to buy what I need now without the stress of having to pay for it all at once. And no interest. Beat that layaway. Welcome back, everybody. So this two hours has been about taking care of yourself, taking care of your family. And our best value of the day is, is emblematic of all that. Because listen, we're not always going to have somebody that can pick us up off the ground. We're not going to always have somebody there that can take care of us. But if you have our best value of the day, you are protected no matter where you go and what you do. Here it is, your next presentation of the Today Special. the best and largest bundle we've ever done. Uh, the most uh, encompassing everything you could possibly need to be able to take care of you or a loved one, a family member. Maybe it's an aging parent or grandparent. Maybe it's your uh, daughter or niece that's going away to college and you want them to be protected no matter where they are. Well, this is the best way to be able to do that for you or a loved one. And it's wherever you are, whenever you are, and whatever you are doing, you are always connected. I'm talking about instant one touch access to 911 and a 911 center, no matter where you are in this country, somebody will be there or will be responding to you within about 20 seconds. And as you know, in any emergency, especially a health emergency, time is everything, okay? And I, I mentioned in my last presentation about my mom's husband, John, who was home one day, he was by himself, had a stroke. None of us knew how long. Uh. We, knew, we know actually now because the damage was pretty extensive. Um, and John still has a very limited ability to be able to speak. And this is 10 years ago, and it changed everybody's life. Um, wish I had that then. We just didn't have it sure. back then. Well, you know, you don't think you need it, right? You think John was in good health. I never thought he'd have a stroke. Of course. Um, and it just happens. And it can happen at any age. Pe people can have issues when they're in their 20s and 30s um, and have, and have uh, heart issues, whatever it is. This is a way to be able to connect you as soon as possible. And that's what it's all about. Now, what is this? Uh, what doesn't this have? This doesn't have any fees. You know, a lot of 911 services out there, what they do is they give you some free things to wear and clip on and all that stuff, but then they charge you $20, $30 a month. So by the end of the year, you're spending three or $400 a year. That's for one person. If you want to buy more units, they're going to charge you more for that, more monitoring fees. You'll never pay for that. What we're offering today, like I said, we've never done an all-encompassing package like this. So first of all, you have your choice of color. It comes in this turquoise color. Aqua. We're calling that aqua, actually. It comes in black, comes in white, and what do we call the bronze? bronze. So those are your four colors. And a lot of people love to have the color uh, uh, type one because then they can put it on a purse or a handbag and it looks nice because you can, you can clip them on if you would prefer um, or you can uh, wear them on the little, uh, on the little um, rope necklace that we have there as well. Um, it also comes with, right here, see this? This is actually a little uh, alarm, a little um, keychain alarm. Anyway, so you can put it on a keychain, or you can put it on a backpack, or you can put it around your wrist. I don't care how you wear it, but this has a screaming loud alarm mm -hmm. with a little push of a button that's going to ward off anybody that might be following you. Maybe you need help and you fall and nobody can see you, and you want to hit the button, you get that. Um, you get, obviously, the little um, the little chain, so you can either wear it, or are we calling it a lanyard? Two different lanyards. One glows in the dark. I couldn't get a lanyard. Lanyard wouldn't come out for me. I get it. So you have uh, the little lanyard, right? Uh, in addition to that, um, you also get not a one-year or a two-year, but we're giving you a three-year. Oh, what happened to it? It was glowing in the dark. I don't know if you can see it on your screen, but the little lanyard actually grows glows in, the, in, the glows dark. in the dark. Yeah. So you can find that as well. Easy to find. Uh, not a one-year, two-year, but a three-year warranty. All this is included, and the extra batteries. So, so you get batteries with it, but you get backup batteries too. It is free shipping and handling today, which we don't normally do. The price goes from 99 down to 69, but back up to 99 tonight at midnight. This is the first today's special we've done in a couple of years. And finally, and very important too, is that we wanted to reward those of you that buy more than one. Uh, because we think it's a smart thing to do. And most uh, most of you out there maybe have a partner or somebody that you want to get one for in addition to yourself. So we're giving you 10% off of all your additional purchases um, on top of already a good deal with the free shipping and handling. And lastly, before I turn Lori loose, uh, if you get an HSN credit card today, that price, which was down there, 
and is now over there, <laughs> has gone from 69 to 49. We're giving you $20 off on your first purchase. Uh, here is a new customer with HSN. So what the heck? What are you waiting for? And Lori, uh, they never have to pay anything else for this again. There are right? no ongoing fees or costs. Nothing. Right. So this is a Sweet. total paradigm shift. And what we yeah. love about the 911 Help Now pendant is it's safety, it's security, it's peace of mind. It really is perfect for that person that you care about. Who do you worry about? Is this for you? Is this for your family member? I'll tell you, we were doing a little comparison shopping when we were looking for this type of technology for my folks. My mom and dad are a little bit older. My mom's in her late 70s. My dad will turn 89 in a couple of weeks. So we needed two communicator pendants and it was going to cost a ton of money because it was monthly fees involved and we needed of course two of them with 911 help now there are no fees or costs and here's how simple and easy it is okay all you're going to do in that emergency situation whether it's a medical emergency you witness a fire you see a car crash you're involved in something you press and hold that button right here the big red one for three seconds the next voice that you hear on the line is that of your local 911 operator 911 what's your emergency Hi, I'm testing the 911 Help Now pendant. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Great, thank you. Thank you. So you don't have to do anything. You are on a live phone call with 911 through the speakerphone here that's enabled. You don't have to be in your house. You don't have to have Bluetooth. There's no account needed. You're not going to pay any ongoing costs or fees, as we've mentioned a couple times to you. You don't have to have a cell phone. This is a standalone device, and it works virtually everywhere in the United States, across yeah. the entire country, and it's going to call the local 911 operator where you press the button. So you can actually right. travel with this technology. Which a lot of people do. In fact, they, that's one of the things they insist on. Don't forget to bring your button. Bring because, it with you. Know, you. We may be... Uh, you know, in areas where, you know, there's not a lot of people around. Remember, all you need is to have cell, t cell phone towers around. So every place where most phones work, you're good exactly. to go. It's like exactly. as I said, so if you're scaling a mountain, you, you shouldn't be alone anyway. You should be with somebody. But <laughs> Like most, a team of people, yeah, maybe, if you're scaling people, a mountain. Most people, you're going you're gonna to be fine. But I, I, I just love it as a system. And, and you know, uh, not just for, for the elderly or it's for seniors. It's all ages. This is for everybody. I, I was thinking about, you know, if you have kids going away to school and maybe it's your, maybe it's your little ones waiting at the, at the corner for a bus, right? And you think they're fine because they're with their friends and because maybe there's another parent out there, but all of a sudden you, you look out and your child's not there or something. I mean, it's so sure. devastating. Maybe you're just uh, doing an, you know, a sporting event or whatever, and you walk into the locker room and you start feeling a, a pain in your chest and you're all by yourself and there's nobody around and you don't have your phone. What do you do? Well, you reach down to your hip because remember, uh, these come also with a little clip that's available uh, and comes with it actually. And so you can clip these onto a handbag. You can put them on your hip. If you don't want to wear it around your neck, sure. Lori has uh, the, um, the emergency um, alarm plugged right in and hooked up right there to her backpack. So for kids that are off to school, it's ideal. And, and you're looking at total coverage there because one is 911, right, right Lori? This one's 911, so yeah. that's your instant and immediate access to that local 911 operator. And then this, I love the brand new keychain. So this is so versatile. You can put it on a belt loop. You can wear it on your handbag, don't your we, backpack. Don't we offer that as well? On it, we, I think we we actually sell this. I think here at HSN or we do. We yeah, have it available as like, a standalone. What is it like, right, five bucks or something like that. Yeah, for 20, I think it's 24.99. Yeah. 24.99. And yeah. then this has a really nice loud siren and alarm. So if someone is trying to steal your bag away from you, right? That's loud. That's 125 decibels. There's a button on the side that you can access to set off that alarm or you can just pull it. So really convenient way for you to draw attention that to a situation. Loud. It's really loud. It's ear piercingly loud. And I love this because this could be bad guy repellent. Maybe someone is walking towards you. Sounds like you. Mothra a little bit, doesn't it? That's, that's that, you know that big bird? I mean, no, it's kind of scary. No? You don't know? <laughs> That's from like the old Godzilla. Oh, is it like, yeah, oh, it was like yeah. his big bird. Okay. He would make, then he would kind of make sound. that noise when he come in. Well, and it's it was, piercing. Well, but if you've the, fallen, the it, you right. want someone to be able to come over and help you. You're, you talked about your mom. She had yeah. fallen in the garage. Should I tell the story again? I, oh, I, 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 I hate to tell it, but mom's okay. I hate it too. She laid there for okay so long. Well, because, oh. hey, listen, I wouldn't be telling the story if it had a terrible ending, but it did eventually have a good ending because mom was okay. Right. But this is probably about maybe eight years ago. I, I can't remember exactly. But she, they were living at their other house before they sold the house. And mom had done the grocery shopping. John had had a stroke, as I told you before. Um, so he uh, had very selective perception. It was, and he right. to this day still does. He could be sitting right next to me, I could be talking to him and he can't hear me. And then two minutes later he can hear me. It's really, uh -huh. you know, right. well, that's how the brain is. It's really complex. So anyway, long story short, 
he, um, she came home with groceries in the garage and uh, the garage had um, a walk up stairwell and they had even put a ramp in so that they could get up when, when they had to use their chairs. Right. Um, but anyway, mom got out of the car, fell on the ground uh, in, in the garage and mm. was there for about seven to eight hours on the floor. Oh my God. Because John, That's she was yelling time. for John, but she was in another part of the house John had selective kind of attention and, and probably didn't even hear. The only way he found her was at about eight or nine o'clock that night, he went out to either put the garbage out or something and he went in the garage and my mother was still oh there. Oh my gosh. She couldn't make her way up to She'd the- She'd had this the, alarm to set off or the well, 911 button, either one like, of these I items. I said, mom, where was your phone? She was like, well, I was in my bag in the car and That's I couldn't just get it. up to get into the car Not because- Not everybody has their phone with them terrible. at all times. I just kept imagining her crawling around and trying to oh get, I mean, I can't imagine what that feeling has to be like it's just awful but what it is is it's helplessness and and realistically you you have a say in making sure that doesn't happen um and i think a lot of us even like we were just selling the shredder and we we're talking about identity theft oh, it was never going to happen to me it's never going to happen to me you never know when you're going to need help and you don't have to be at any certain age you can be very very young very very old doesn't All ages. matter because let me tell you you can be taken or scared or have an emergency when you're four or five or six just as easily as when you're 94, 95, or 96, okay? The key is being prepared, and that's what this system does. And you can see by the size of it, okay, here's my hand. They're not big, they're not bulky, they don't take up a lot of space. If you want, you can put it inside your handbag and just clip it inside so that you won't have to be pro, you know, broadcasting to the world that you have it. A lot of people, my mom doesn't like wearing hers where people can see it. Yeah, I you can, can be very discreet cool. with this. So put it in your pocket or put it inside your purse as long as you have it on you, that's the key. So your choices, again, are bronze, aqua, black, or white. We're gonna give you the keychain alarm to go along with it. Um, you get um, the little um, straps to be able to, and this one's glow in the dark, so you get those to go along with it. We call those lanyards. Yes, I know yes, I used to use that word, although I was just in the universe. It's a lanyard. Think, There's lanyards everywhere. It's lanyard. Universal Studios. But anyway, it's oh, a way to display great. it. Oh, that's great, look at that. Yeah. Oh my gosh, so and cool. And it glows in the dark, which is good, um, so you can see it. Anyway, it also comes with extra batteries, so you extra get, batteries. You get so the batteries to go in the unit you itself. You get an initial set of batteries, and I just want to do a little comparison shopping for you. When I was go checking ahead. this technology out for my yeah. parents, we found, first of all, that these communicator pendants have monthly fees, $30, $40, $50 a month, and that's per person. So in our family, that was going to be really expensive. In most families, that's going to cost a lot of money if you have loved ones you want to care for because you're going to have to pay that for the rest of their lives. With this technology, you can now have multiples. My mom, unfortunately, isn't of the generation where she always leaves the house with her cell phone. So I know that she has this clipped onto her handbag. I know that she has it with her. We also have one up on the visor of her car. Mm -hmm. We're not paying money for that expensive star service every single month if she gets lost or if something happens if she witnesses a car crash she's going to be able to push the button and instantly be connected to a 911 operator so i love that about it i also think the coverage is really important as well so this is based on cell tower technology basically if your cell phone works your 911 help now emergency pendant yeah. should work as well. And I will tell you, if you wanna get this out of the box and test it, it runs on three AAA batteries. We're providing two sets of batteries for you. They should last about a year per set. So we're including the first two years of batteries. And then these are readily available. So you probably already have AAA batteries at home. Sure. You're not placing this one on the charger like you have to do with a lot of those expensive devices that you're paying monthly fees mm -hmm. for. They have to be charged every night. And then you know what the other thing is? A lot of those are going to call centers. They are not going direct to the source, 2911. Right, right. And I will tell you, More in downtime. that- downtime. Right, you said it, in that stroke situation, when seconds count, you need to get the help that you need in that moment. You don't wanna waste time. Who wants to be transferred from one call center to another call center? So many of these services rely on call centers. This goes direct to your local 911 operator. And think about that. 911, they're highly trained individuals, first and foremost, but they're also the people in charge of dispatching emergency service vehicles. So if you're having that medical emergency, they're gonna send the ambulance. If it's a fire emergency, they send the fire trucks. If it's a police emergency, they send the police. These are the people ultimately responsible for that. This is your first line of communication to them. And with no, oh my gosh, where's my cell phone? Oh, is it locked? Is it charged? Do I have a signal? Yeah. Did I bring it with me? This is always with you. And guy, this technology has saved well, so if, many if, lives. If my mom fell somewhere, 
there, it'd be 99 out of 100, she would never phone with her. Right. In her Mine hand. Mine too. My mom too. And not only that, but my this, mom, and you know, you. you know what we dealt with with my mom because my mom has the tremors now. You right. know, we right. just she just went through a whole operation to help, which it has helped. But before, she could barely even hold her hand to, to oh. dial the phone. Right. So. This is this is out there for everybody out there. Anybody that has a loved one, anybody that that uh, maybe yourself, uh, your kids, whatever that wants to 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 really possibly save somebody's life in an emergency. In fact, I know you were on with Shannon a while back, and you got an amazing call about somebody that really went through an incredible time. So what? This is Mary. This is Mary. So take a listen to this, and then we'll come back and we'll tell you all about the offer one more time. Here we go. Hi, Mary. Welcome to the show. Hi, I'm Hi. so glad that I can talk to you. Um, I just wanted to let you know that your 911 button a year ago saved my life. Oh, wow. my gosh. How, Mary? I had a heart attack sitting in my living room, hit the button, passed out, and then when I came to, the operator's going, this is the 911 operator. My phone rang, this is the 911 operator. Oh, wow. Between the time I hit the button... The time the operator talked to me, the EMTs, it didn't even take them seven minutes to get to my house. Oh, oh my gosh. That and is if awesome. if they hadn't had that button around my neck, yes. I wouldn't have made it across the room to get to the telephone. Oh, my gosh. And, and we could probably come up with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of Gives different the stories Every and, time. and ideas, but think about it. Would there be anything worse for you on this planet than to know that, like, your loved ones suffered? Oh, Because they gosh. could... That's the worst thing ever. It's like, like I said with my mom. It, it wasn't... It's not the whole event. It's that she sat there for hours and nobody could help her. And, and that's not the first time that's happened. She, she, about three or four years later, she was in an apartment and she fell... She fell getting out of her car... It's, it's garages. I don't know. I guess garages. it's getting in and out of the car. Right, right. She was lucky that time. Now, that time she, it was unfortunate because she hit her head and she had to go to the hospital. She, she, she needed stitches that time. Oh, geez. But a neighbor came out in about an hour, but she was still out there for an You're hour. You're sitting there yeah, for an I hour. Mean, so eventually it was like, well, we, you gotta we do have something. to get a monitor. And mom's not driving anymore, which she doesn't anymore. Um, but, you know, because it was, the, you, you have to. You, you, listen, there's no 100% guarantee that you're always going to be there and everything is going to be perfect. Right. All you can do is you can take the steps to help prevent that or to do something in case it happens. That's all you have the power to do. You can't stop, stop lightning from striking. You can't stop the hurricanes or the floods. You, you can't do anything about that. But what you can do is you can prepare yourself when stuff happens. That's all we have. That's, I mean, that's, think about it. That's how we raise our children, right? When you raise kids, what do you do? You repair them for... Well, you prepare them for what life's going to throw at you. As much as, as you possibly much as can. You can. And never you never want to look back and say, woulda, right. coulda, shoulda. Why didn't I do this? Why didn't I get that? Why, Why that didn't I have that? That stupid pendant on HSN oh. that could have saved somebody's life, or, or at least, and, and you know, I, I don't want to keep dwelling on it, but it's like the stroke thing, okay? You, you ask any time. doctor, go to any doctor it's in the world to be like, what's the key when it comes to a stroke? And they're going to say, Knowing when it's coming and getting to the hospital as quickly Immediate as you possibly can. That's attention. what they're going to... They'll right. say the same thing with Good heart... Good result versus bad heart results. Issue, yeah. Right? It's all if about you time. see any signs, you need to take it... You need to hit that button immediately. Right. Because within seconds, you know, your body will start to go into all its other defense modes and all its other... It shuts down different parts, you know. Could shut, you, before that happens, hit that little button. And remember that you're not going to get a monthly bill on this, ever. You pay up front... All right? So if you see one and they say, oh, well, the other company gives me monitors for free. Yeah, and then they charge you 20 or 30 or $40 a month based on how many, uh, you know, people are in your family. This, you get it out of the way and you'll never pay again. You don't even have to buy, buy batteries the second time around because we give you the backup batteries. You have your choice of color, bronze, aqua, black, or white. We're going to give you the keychain alarm to go with it, the glow-in-the-dark lanyards when you wear it around your neck. Remember, you also can wear this as a clip-on um, so you don't have to display it to everybody. And then, which I think is wonderful, rather than a one-year warranty, like everybody else, uh, we are uh, extending and expanding the warranty to a three year warranty. We have a really, really good relationship with the 911 Help Now Pendant people. Um, and so we have, and we've developed it over the years. We know our customer loves this item. Uh, our, our customer, what they don't love, we find, is the having fees. to get bills and pay fees over and over and over. It's kind of like when we did the, the and you you represent the battery companies too, and when we do it, sure. when you don't have the Today Special, Bill did it today, but 
you and I are also like scratching things off the list, oh not gosh. having to buy more exactly. batteries, pay monthly fees. Nobody, nobody wants to deal with that. No, what, no one wants to deal with that. You don't want those ongoing costs or fees. And this is a standalone device. So I just want to remind everybody out there what this does. It does one thing and one thing only. You don't have to be in your home. You don't have to have a landline. You don't have to have a cell phone. You don't need Bluetooth. You don't need Wi-Fi. You don't have to have an account. You're not going to pay any extra money going forward. You press the button if that emergency situation happens, press and hold it for three seconds. So if you can ring a doorbell, you will instantly and immediately be connected to the local 911 operator in your area. 911, what's your emergency? Hi, I'm testing the 911 help now pendant. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Great, thank you. Thank you. That's how easy it, it is. has a speaker built in. It has a microphone built in. You don't have to do anything. You can be completely and totally hands-free speaking to that 911 operator. Yeah. It's immediately enabled, right. so you can talk to that individual. This runs on battery power, so we're including two sets of batteries for you. It's triple A batteries. You don't worry about charging this at night. You don't worry about any of the things that you have to worry about with the other oh. technologies out there, like going through a call right. center. This is calling direct to the local 911, so you can actually travel with this. Maybe you're gonna go on a great family vacation, maybe you have a road trip planned this summer, maybe you have a, a reunion coming up. You're gonna be able to bring your 911 Help Now pendant, and if anything happens in the city where you're visiting, press the button and you will be reaching out to that local 911 operator. I wanna show you really quickly, here's where you check your batteries. I was gonna ask you that. Battery checking, so that button is right over on the side. You'll see that light glows green. That indicates to you that your batteries are in good working condition. Works on three AAA batteries. We do provide for you two sets. This is the first and only time we've ever done that additional extended two-year warranty on top of the one-year manufacturer's warranty, so three full years. But think about this. For that person that you love and care for, it doesn't have to be, you know, an elderly person. It could be all ages. I know my mom doesn't necessarily leave the house with her cell phone, um, so this is really great peace of mind for me and for my yeah, family, knowing Perfect she's got spot. one clipped in her car. Yeah, hey, it's on her purse. Bottom line, and you know what I'm talking about, this thing will save or can save your, you know what? Your it bacon. really can. If, if there's if there's an issue, can. Hey, let's go to our phones. Uh, we are going to say hello to some folks that want to call in. Um, may I ask, what is your name and where are you calling from? Hello. Hello. What, hi, hi. What's your name? Hey, my name is Jill. Is it Jill? Jill. Hi, yes, Jill. Yes, it is. And how are you this morning? We're wonderful, Good, Jill. Jill. Where are you from? I'm from Charleston, South Carolina. Well, welcome Ooh, in, Jill. Nice um, we are very excited to have you call. What did you call us about today? Well, at my age, I'm a widow, and I'm starting to date again. Ooh, good for you. Good job, girl. So is my mom, and she's, my mom got fun. remarried. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And I just think it would be so wonderful, because sometimes you can't get to your phone if there's a problem to right. call 911. So true. So this, I will just tie it in my little handbag, and if I'm having a really shifty date or anything like yes. that, or I get out of it, Maybe he's bingo, handsy. I get help. Yes. Right. You got to be careful. But you know what? Let me tell you something, Jill. <laughs> and I will, Those I, bachelors, I, let me, Jill. No, let me tell you. My mom, so my, my, my mom was with my dad for like, you know, 40, 39, 40 years, whatever it was. He passed away about 20 years ago, and she started dating again, and the first couple guys she dated, she was like, same thing. She's like, this guy was kind of like handsy. A little really handsy. Was. And I was like, whoa, what? I was like, what? Yes. But anyway. You're sitting at the bar or wherever you're sitting, and all of a sudden, his <laughs> hand is on your knee. And I, go, I know, I know. You got to hit the pen. Well, that's, you have the pendant right there in case you need it. Well, let me just yes, tell you this. And I think that's good. And I'm yeah. starting to walk again. Good for and you. Enjoy my life, and I think Good this would be you. very handy to have. That's what you this know, is about, Jill, getting out, feeling it, empowered. It is, but, but as we Wonderful. get older, as we get older, we feel a little more at risk. This is a great way to give you some peace, peace of, of mind. mind. And by the way, my mom got remarried, and she's extremely happy, and she's 86 years old, so there's lots to look forward yes, to, Jill. Yes, your life ahead of you. <laughs> for me? I'm so happy for you. Thanks, Jill. Cool. Have All fun, right, Jill. Thank you so much. All right, honey, bye. bye. Um, and if he gets too handsy... There you go. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I try, I don't, I, 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 I'm not even going to say it. The chances are I'll dig a hole for myself. Oh, hey, it's, it's bad guy repellent, no, right? Or drawing people over. Why do you have over. to use the word guy? Can't you say bad person? <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing That's wrong what I meant. with a guy. It's the bad part. That's... <laughs>
right. the bad part. Anyway, no, <laughs> but I me. love that Jill called because here Thanks, you have Jill. a person that's that's into the second part of her life. Right. Um, you know, wants Enjoying to Enjoying herself to, again. Yeah, you know, getting loved, out. loved her husband. Now she's, you know, she's lost her husband. She's moving on. She wants to take some steps to protect herself. She's the perfect... Although I think everybody should have one of these, I think that's a great uh, a great testimonial because she's like, you know, I'm not I'm in a situation that I'm not familiar with. Exactly, I, like I want to feel have, comfortable. I'd like to have a backup plan just in case. And you know, you never know. It could be Jill on a date. It could be Jill at home in right. the bath, in the uh, taking a, a bath and slip on the floor. It Anywhere. could be in the garage, like it's happened to my mom. The bottom line is, you don't pay monthly for this. You get it. You own it forever. You got the batteries for a couple of years. You don't have to deal with that. You get the uh, uh, the keychain alarm. You really are you are being a smart. You know, it's funny because when you when you in Florida, um, when you're going through weapons certification, all that stuff, blah blah blah, they talk to you about the importance of being prepared, the importance of of taking care of things ahead of time, right? And being aware of your environment. Sure. You know? And, and a lot of us take that for granted. We're in a parking lot and we think nothing's gonna happen. Exactly. This can save you. You and just I tell never you, know. And we'll never have a better offer than this. The best offer of the year, the first time we've done it today, special and in two years. And lowest price anywhere. You are doing an amazing job. So are you. I know. It's been um, but uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> right, you were back on at noon. I'll be back at noon with Michelle. Shannon Fox, my favorite. I love that Shannon. She's up with I Kitchen love Essentials. Her. See ya. <laughs>